Hello everybody, this is Ariane Arsenault. Today I am making bath bombs with a cute holiday mold that was gifted to me by my friend Lee over at the Bath Bomb Press. And I am using the reindeer bath bomb mold. I'll also be showing you the Santa bath bomb mold. Here's Santa. Uh, so I'll be making bath bombs with these two. And then I'll be painting them by hand with some micas by the Fizz Fairy at the end of the video. In the bowl for my KitchenAid, I have my baking soda as well as some kale and clay. I will go ahead, put this in the KitchenAid, and then add my wet mixture, which is really darkly colored because I wanted these to look like cookies. Uh, the fragrance is called Santa Snack. It is by Be Scented, and it smells just like holiday cookies. The color is a combination of yellow number five and chocolate brown by the Fizz Fairy. So let's get everything combined. Next goes in the lathanol powder, which is also known as SLSA, and it is a foaming agent. It is a surfactant. And last, the citric acid. Once the mixer has done its job, we're gonna transfer in a bowl where we can finish mixing this by hand. Let's test the Santa mold now. Of course, I know what it's gonna look like because I've already tested these molds prior to making this video. So the Santa mold holds a little bit more mixture, so it's a little heavier. Uh, I can fill it to 190 to 200 grams, roughly. Um, there we go. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go back to the reindeer mold because that's the one I wanna do in this batch. I also got a gingerbread house mold, and I'm gonna feel like testing it in a, with the rest of this batch. We'll see how it works.
digging and for the bottom of the house, but big house. <laughs> to decorate my bath bombs, I am using some micas by the Fizz Fairy. I have the lipstick red mica for the nose, the shimmery black mica for the eyes and mouth, and for the antlers, I am using the Superstar Shimmer Bronze Mica, and I mix it with 99% rubbing alcohol and create a mica paint. Let's do Santa's eyes while we paint the reindeer's eyes. Let's give a little color to Santa. <laughs> it's called winter white. Um, so it, it's very opaque. So it's great to paint things that are white, like a beard or a hat, Santa's hat. snow on the gingerbread house's roof. And the cherry on top. <laughs> the lipstick red. Such a vibrant, beautiful red mica. It's perfect for Santa's hat and for the little red nose of the reindeer. I think I'll make the inside portion of the gingerbread house the door. I'll make it red. Going to decorate the windows and doors with the the bronze shimmery mica. So cute.
To give a final magical touch, I am using my Echo Glitter to decorate and make these super shiny. Voila! So I like to wrap around a, a label to identify the, the product. And we place them directly on the bat bombs. And then uh, using the National Shrink Wrap, the little reindeers or any other bat bombs really are wrapped the same way here. So um, we use this BioLeafin, which is a biodegradable shrink film. And then this is the, the magic wand. <laughs> Has a hot uh, wire element here. Once I have a couple rows done, and then I am gonna go seal the back palms the other way. Voila, all wrapped. The reindeers are ready. They are already listed on the website, but these are real reindeers and they fly and they fly quickly. <laughs> so we'll put them on the, on the website as, as long as we can keep on making them. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to the Bath Bomb Press for sending me these amazing holiday molds uh, for me to test and review. Um, I love the Santa and the reindeer. They're super easy to use. The gingerbread house is a little bit more challenging, a little bit more difficult to press. So I highly recommend a wetter mixture and making them in smaller batches as the when the mix dries out, they become a little bit more difficult to press, but the result is so cute. <laughs> so definitely a keeper. Happy holidays, everybody, and I will see you soon.